Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, I'm just gonna be doing this full glam black smoky eye with silver slash kind of like titanium pop of glitter. And the first palette I'm gonna be taking is the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the first shade I'm gonna be taking is Orange Soda. Just gonna be taking this just on a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna be placing this just in my crease, just to how you act as my transition color. Gonna be popping it just in my crease and blending up into the upper crease and my brow bone. Deepen that up even further. Gonna be going into a burnt orange and taking it on a slightly smaller brush this time. So I want to be a bit more precise within my crease. Just gonna be popping it in there just to add a bit more depth. And going to be going in even darker and deepening up the crease furthermore with Cypress Umbra, I think it's called, <laughs> and the, using the exact same brush. Then taking the gel liner by NYX, going to take that just on a flat brush and just going to be packing this all over the entire lid and bringing it up to my crease. Not wanting to go any further past my crease, just like directly in my crease. Making sure you get into the inner corner as well. And then going into that palette again, taking the black and I'm just going to set that gel liner. Initially, I do like to blend the gel liner out first, but I did leave it far too long and it actually set and dried on me. God damn it. <laughs> so I just had to try and blend it out with the shadow which actually worked quite well very very impressed so I'm just gonna be using a wee blender brush from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and black can be a wee bit tricky to blend out so I just wanted to really take my time and using this wee small brush I could be really really precise with my blending but overall it did blend out really really well Then for the exciting part, taking the Helen E Fix Gel and the Technique Loose Glitter and the Glitter Shakers from Stargazer. I'm just going to put some of that fixing gel just all over the lid and then just place it on the glitter. I had mixed them two glitters because the both of them single weren't necessarily the best shade, but together they were pretty perfect. It was kind of the ideal color that I wanted to go for, so that's why I had to give it a little mixture. So I'm just packing that just all over the lid. I'm not going to be doing a wing or anything too fancy but I'm just going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner just to go along the lash line just to hide my lash band and then a wee coat of mascara with the Dega Scarlet Mascara before lashes and the lashes I'm going to be using today are in the Style Emma by T Lashes. Now to start on the face, I'm just going to be using this wee e.l.f. cream. It doesn't actually mention as into what it actually is in the packaging but I'm just going to be using this as my base. But as you'll see in a wee second or two, it just gives the skin just a really nice healthy glow. But honestly, haven't a clue what it is. <laughs> Elf is so basic whenever it comes to their packaging, it is actually quite funny. They're just like, it's a primer, it's for your face, get over it. <laughs> and then for foundation, I'm gonna go with my L'Oreal Tree Match foundation on my Tarte Beauty Sponge, which is disgusting. <laughs> And then, I don't actually think I've done this on my channel just yet, but I'm going to go and do a wee bit of cream contour with a darker foundation. I um, absolutely love this foundation, so therefore I just kind of know that it's going to act really, really nice as a cream contour. So that's what I just decided to do today. And because I love the foundation so much, it just blends out absolutely beautifully as well. I will talk more in depth about this in an actual tutorial. It just kind of makes it a wee bit more easier and then I'm just going to conceal with the Morphe concealer. This has actually recently became a bit of a favourite of mine's. I don't know, I just love the coverage and how bright it actually is. And then everything is set in place with the Makeup Revolution Bag and Blot Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. I'm just going to quite heavily just set all the places where I press the concealer and then just all over the rest of the face I'm just going to give a wee bit of a light set, not too much powder. 
and then for highlight I'm going to go in for the Anastasia Amrise highlight. Um, it's a nice highlight and all the same but I think I ended up going in later with a Colourpop highlight because it's just not blinding enough for me. <laughs> I don't know, not really a fan. And then I'm going to go in for the Oakland blush palette. I'm going to take that middle shade and just pop that just on the apples of my cheekies. And then for bronzer, I'm going to be taking this wee Miami Glitz. Actually, it's a face powder, not necessarily a bronzer, but I use it as a bronzer and it's absolutely beautiful. I got this off Shop Miss A. It's only a dollar and it's really, really good. <laughs> And then I'm just going to spritz my face and set all them powders even further with the Primark Hydrating Setting Spray. And then for my lip trio, I'm going to use the Primark Toffee Lip Liner and the Primark Matte Lipstick in the shade Almost There. Beautiful lip combo. Definitely my go-to. And then I'm going to top that off with an Estee Lauder Lip Gloss. <laughs> And then just for the lower lash line, I'm just going to be doing exactly the same on the lower lash line as i done on the top lid. And that's it guys, thank you so so much for watching, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter, they'll all be linked and listed down below, and I hope to see you all in my next video.